Well, rip. Oh, well, someone just lost at the start. This is getting to be so motherfucking annoying. Ugh. You know what? Fuck you, fighter. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this without you. Two-faced piece of fuck. Ugh. I've been recording for three hours, and most of it, you can guess where most of it has been spent on to. I'm getting annoyed, but I'm hell-bent on getting this fucking episode, getting the, 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 the I'm planning on getting the Media King fucked. And this is all, ugh. Uh, Guess I haven't had any action in this uh, much action in this episode. Mm. According to Senachan, the high ranking pocket circuit racer Harumi Chan is at this bar. Cosmic Coon, I presume. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're Harumi. No, no. Let's follow protocol. Proper protocol. It's Harumi Chan. Right, Cosmicun? Sorry, you're right. Since you're okay for a drink? Uh, sure. I, I really need one. Sanachan told you about this place, didn't she? Uh, yeah, she said you were a much faster racer than her. Is that right? <laughs> Silly girl, prone to exaggeration. But yes, I'm confident about getting the most speed for my machine. They call me the Pocket Circuit Professor. Mm -hmm. Hmm. The Professor. Mm -hmm. Affirmative. I quantify and analyze all data pertaining to racing, machine parts specifications, course geometry, the attributes of opponents, and so on. That's my style. Master data, and you gain mastery over the race. Competing in that style earned me the Pocket Circuit Professor title. I, uh, I get the picture. You're one sharp lady. Actually, I work at university as an assistant professor in statistics. Data analysis for Pocket Circuit Racing is literally child's play. <laughs> In more ways than one. Lol. Incidentally, if we were a race, your likelihood of losing would be, uh... Nice. Really? I observe your race several times. Your style is charmingly rough-hewn. There's so much waste effort, you can never beat me. Care to prove it? <laughs> You're on. I'm not letting that challenge slide. Let's see if your calculations add up. <laughs> Affirmative. I think you'll make it entertaining, at least. I'll be waiting at the stadium. Uh. I may have a compromise. I like that. See you later. Here we go. <sighs> All right, let's do it. I like men without compromise too, you know. I can compromise them. The fuck? All right, let's duke it out. You arrive exactly my predicted time with no deviation. Are you ready to race? Okie dokie, build time. All right, let's do it. Customization. Ultra spiked frame. Ultra Rocket, Motor, Extra Balanced, Battery, High Cap, Side, Stabilizer, Medium Suspension, No Bumper, this is going to be fucked. <laughs> Shit, she's faster than me. Okay, get myself a big fat lead.
Oh my god, Laptor. Oh, that was easy. <sighs> Maybe now I can finally get the materials to do this. I lost. A statistically impossible. <laughs> Looks like your calculations were slightly off. I can't believe this. Passion, determination, and drive people beyond their natural ability. That goes to the pocket circuit racing too. You got lost in your data. You forgot to put your heart and soul into your car. That's why it's a machine to you. That's why you lost. You're absolutely right. I can't argue that. But I'll give you this. That was a great race. I could see you were getting excited when things got tight. You look pretty cute, you know. Ah? Uh, is something wrong? No, it's nothing. It's true. Things don't always go according to calculation. In racing and in romance, too. Perhaps maybe you can even beat him. Him. The one racer who I can never defeat. Even my most accurate data analysis. His name is Kazuyoshi-kun. He's the greatest racer in Kamurocho, maybe even all of Japan. He won some national tournaments too. He's been seen around town the past few days, so it's highly probable he'll show up here and soon. Mm. The greatest racer, is he? Sounds like a real challenge. One I'd like to take on. I don't need any data to tell me it's going to be great. Here, have a these. Okay, got the cool striker. And heavy suspension. Maybe now I can fucking beat it. This is a pocket circuit car. Are you sure I can have this? Affirmative. You have something sorely missing myself. I thought you would be able to make that machine. No, that car more attractive. Please take it. Gratefully accepted. Thanks. Cosmo-kun. Uh, go for it. Uh. Sure. Kuziyoshi-kun, huh? Pogs are a champion. There's a good chance I've seen him here. Hey there, Cosmo-kun. How's my boyfriend doing? Good? Uh. Yeah. But boyfriend What are you doing here? You, you little hussy. Go home and study or something. Ah. That's not what I mean. Crap. I'm not into kids. Maybe with this combination I can finally beat it. Let's do it. If I win on the first try, I'm actually going to be angry. Cool striker. Customize. Not today. Yes! Fucking hell. So it really was the car and the heavy suspension I needed to win. I can get this up. No, I still have a few more races left. Hope you have a fun race. Fire, you seem really down today. What's the matter? I can't really talk about it here. <sighs> I think now I can finally beat the, uh, the royal. You're moving back with your parents? Oh, I feel that on a fucking emotional level. Yeah, I got a call from my mom. She said if we get nowhere here in the city, I should come home and take over the family business. What does your family do? They run a tofu shop. No kidding. What should I do? You're the only one I can talk to about this sort of thing. What do you want to do, fighter? To be honest, I don't know. I'll be 30 pretty soon. I can't go on living like this much longer. I always dream of coming to the city, get an important job, and going out with tons of chicks. Guess life doesn't work out that way. No work for peanuts, day in, day out. I have no real learning potential, and a non-existent love life. This ray make more sense uh, to go back home and lighten the lower my parents, but... But, I like being Papa's secret fighter. It's fun working with the kids. So I'm having trouble deciding. Fighter! Huh? What are you doing here? Did you hear what I was saying? Yeah. God, it's so embarrassing! Hey. Oh, god damn it, man. <sighs> Fighter! He's gone. I want to tell him something. Is he back at the place where he's selling the fucking thing? Yeah, it's something really important. Uh huh. I wonder where he went. He might not come back anymore. I don't really know where he is. When he's feeling down, he goes to Public Park 3. I see him crying on the bench there a lot. Mm. Public Park 3, huh? Where's the Public Park 3? God damn, it's not ending yet. Here you are, fighter. Cosmicon, what are you doing here? Well, you see, uh, I'm here to talk to you about your car's extended life warranty. Daiki-kun said you'd be here. He was worried about you. Hey, Daiki-kun? Back to work, fighter. Do it for the kids. <laughs> I make a pretty lousy pocket circuit fighter, don't I? It's supposed to be someone the kids look up to, but I just keep letting them down. That ain't true. Cosmicon, no. 
Kazuma-san. Why so formal all of a sudden? I made my mind. I'll go back to my parents' place. What? Goodbye. Hey! Uh... The kids! And their funny runs! Fighter! It's Kumikun. You all came. Guys couldn't stay away, huh? No, we got sick of waiting. Don't quit, fighter. Eh? We all think you're the best fighter. Don't give up your job. But I'm just an uncool part-timer who's never been with a girl. We all know you're not as cool as you make out, fighter. Huh? But we still like you for who you are. Don't quit, fighter. Guys, what should I do, Cosmosan? Or Cosmokun. It's your call. Going back to your folks isn't running away. Taking over the tofu business could be good for you. But you're not the loser you think you are. You have plenty to be proud of. Let's look at how much these kids care about you. That's not something just anyone could pull off. Cosmokun. Uh, it's Cosmokun. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> this won't do. I need to pull myself together. I feel a lot better now, thanks to you. Stop being so down myself. Yeah. Okay, time to clear the air. Let's all head back to the pocket circumstance for some racing. Ah, oh, you're the best fighter. Thanks, Cosmokun. I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Here, take it east. Ah, uh, you sure? This looks valuable. It's the least I could do after how much you helped me, Cosmokun. Looks pretty red, huh? See how fast you can make it go by customizing it. Thanks, fighter. Come back to the track sometime. Can't wait to see you burn rubber again. Alright, guys. Race back to the Pocket Circuit Stadium. See you there, too, Cosmokun. Get ready. Get set. Go. I'll go take a look later. God damn it. And there he goes. Pocket Circuit is pretty fun haunt to Kamakun. Are you kidding, Fire? Everyone knows Pocket Circuit is the best game around. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This place is worth the effort. Aren't you going to commentate, Fighter? Oops! Here's me already just to watch with you. Tell me to inject a little more excitement into this race. Keep up the good work, Fighter. Okay, now I can get his business and now I can finally finish this. Oh my god, this is going to be one hell of an episode to edit, and I'm scared for my vagina lips. Thank you. There's the kids with the rides. Gang's all here. Guess they're customizing their cars. Ah. Cosmic, are you going to work on customization too? Yeah. Nah, I just happen to be in the neighborhood. Aw, Cosmocoon, hang out with us. <laughs> Are you kidding? Still to all those crappy customizations? That's preschool stuff. Whoa, you're... Who is this sophisticated gentleman? You guys are still up on that buddy-buddy BS. No one of you nerds suck hard. Give up, loser babies. Hey, you walk in and start insulting your fellow racers? What was that attitude? Duh, do you live in a cave? You're a racer and you're telling me you don't know who the heck I am? Nope, no clue. Is he famous? His his name is Kazuyoshi Kun. He always comes over bugs and we're racing and stuff. He's a real jackass. But nobody gets anything because he's the pocket circuit champion. He's so fast he wins tournaments all over Japan. This brat is Kamarosa's champion. Kazuyoshi Kun, why are you back all of a sudden? We haven't seen you for a long time. Everybody knew guy is supposed to be pretty good. Figures just stop before he gets any dumb ideas. Think his name was Cosmachan? Cosmachan, are you here? Yoo hoo! Let's race, Cosmachan. I'm the Cosmo you're looking for, and it's Kun. It's your grown up, you play with Project Circuit cars? Don't you think it's kind of lame? What's it to you? You can use a lesson in manners. Well, you're the one who needs a lesson in manners, you rookie racer. I'll show you who's boss. Sure, let's settle on the track. Here's a deal if I beat you, you'll never bully the other kids again. Fine, you're on. Doesn't matter anyway, because you're light years away from catching up to me. Uh, no, I'll come back to you next episode. You're not gonna run away on me, are you? Keep chirping, kiddo. You'll be singing a different tune soon enough. What a little bastard. Cosmic Goon, you've been take you taking part in tons of races now. You've always been there in my hour of need. What's up? Why so serious? I want to do something to thank you for everything you've done for the pocket circuit community. Come with an idea. I figure you must be wanting a little more freedom when racing your cars. Not really, no. Don't you hold back here. I've got it all ready for you, so have some fun. Pocket circuit track editing. I don't understand. Put simply, you can build any circuit however you want. It costs money to build, so be careful not to overspend. Set the foot the bill, huh? Still making my own tracks does sound fun. 
Okay, cool. I don't really care. I think I'm done with this pretty much, except for a couple side quests. Cosmic Coon, a little bird told me you were in the real estate business. Is that true? Yeah, that's right. That's how I'm able to afford millions and millions of yen worth of shit. Would you be interested in managing the Pog Circus Stadium? I'd be honored to. Of course, since those billionaire people showed up, it seemed like it's hard to fend off the spe speculators and predators. The owners here say they need professional help. This place is important for the kids. We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. If it went away, I'd be out of a job too. Fighter. I will give you a good salary. There we go. 88%. Coming for you, uh, Media King. What do they got? I mean, I have yen to spare. Fucking hell, I'm finally gonna be completely done with this fucking episode. 93%! Mr. President! It's finally time. Is it the billionaires again? Yes, it's Media King. He wants to bring you on his turf. He's the last billionaire. If you defeat him, we can get Kamarojo back. You're right, this is the final battle. I'll take him down no matter what. We're all rooting for you! The Media King's turf is in uh, the parking lot. It's gonna be a rough fight. I should get ready before I go. Let's end this. After hours of doing this, I'm ready to just beat this fucker down to a pulp. Okay, it's on the, uh, here. Ah, oh, you, you moved the guy out of the way. There you are, Mr. Kiryu. Yeah, and if it isn't the guy who got the most of his turn to take my so-called idiots and pushovers, the media king... I told him to call me that, and I told you to stay out of my way, didn't I? You can't be bothered to listen to a word I say, Mr. Kiryu. Are you going to see now, or do you not take me seriously? Let me think, I guess I just don't take you seriously. Touche. <sighs> you need more men, dude. Fine, then. I don't like fighting, but let's settle this. Uh. Sure, fine with me. I'll take you down and put an end to the five billionaires. I'll get Kamarojo back once and for all. <laughs> you can try, at least. Do you know why I hate fighting? Because it's utterly boring. No one can offer me any serious competition. I'll make you regret underestimating me, Mr. Kiryu. Or shall I say, Cosmo Kiryu? Just do a fucking kickflip? Of course. Oh, he has blue health! He has more. F this guy has more f HP than fucking Majima's final boss. Oh, this is gonna be fucked. I think I may need to... Oh my god. Can I use brass knuckles like this? Oh my god. I need Jesus. Holy shit. And there's no weapons here. Um... Holy fuck, he's like beating me down. Um oh My God. Oh my 
my god. Get over here, you bastards. Let's do this. Okie dokie. I think it might be time I buff up. Do you, I mean, I do got a lot of money. <laughs> Speaking of which, do you want a bit more health? God. This guy's a Okay. I've literally wasted so much of my healing resources. Come on. God damn it, bro. Yo, I am screwed. Pressing Y. Stop it. There we go. Yeah, we are. I'm gonna give you brain trauma.
Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Go. Get down. You my brass fucking knuckles, bro. Ow. Come on. Man, this guy's a bastard. God, counters galore. That didn't really work out well. Fuck these clothes. Oh my god. Yes! Oh my god, I thought it was I thought it was game over that time. Holy f fuck me. Get fucked. Oh I got a hundred million for that. I need a buff up next. Damn. That was like some MMA mixed martial art bullshit. <sighs> That's a wrap. It's finally over. Yeah. No, you're not done yet. What? We five billionaires are just puppets. There's another mastermind pulling our strings from behind the scenes. What? I'm surprised you made it this far, kiryu san Who the fuck are you? He's the one controlling the five billionaires backstage. Super billionaire. The finance king. The finance king? Nice to finally meet you, kiryu san That said, I've actually been watching you all this time, so I feel like I already know you. What are you after? <laughs> what kind of question is that? I'm after one thing. Money. It's all about the money. Kamarocha is one of the most lucrative places in the world to leverage my capital. But thanks to a bunch of fools who cling to the old ways, probably since town were protected for the sake of the poor souls who live here. A truly futile notion. And now in this golden age of money games, simply idiotic. All anyone needs to do to make money is to flip properties, so waste not to. So that's why I did. Perhaps my methods of securing the residents' cooperation may have inconvenienced them in the short term. But such is life. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. The rich eat while the poor starve. It's not my fault. You selfish bastard! <laughs> oh yes, you're Yamanoi's protege, alright. You sound just like him back in the day. You know him? Known him? He and I once worked together, hand in hand, at the same office. Although we have fallen out when we disagreed over our business practices. I'm ashamed to admit that in my ill-advised youth, there was a time when I clung to the same notions as Yamanoi. I worked hard for the happiness of the people who lived here, to make the city a better place. But working behind the scenes like that got us nowhere. The people took it for granted. No one ever did thank us. On the contrary, they did nothing but complain. And of course, we didn't make any money. I got sick and tired of toiling my, away my days like that. So one day, I told Yamino we should stop wasting time and get involved in the money game. A system rumored to be generating unlimited profits. Luckily, we already had knowledge and experience from our business. We'd be able to run things around, gre around greedy idiots looking to score a fast and easy fortune. Yamanoi refused. I parted company with Yamanoi, who stuck to the old ways, and I entered into the world of the money game. From that day forward, I've emerged victorious time and time and again, making an astonishing amount of money in the process. Using those funds, I loaned cash, invested capital, and got involved in finance. At some point, I began to notice that people were calling me the finance king. And just when I thought I was satisfied, I remember something. I recalled a place from my past that would be ideal for making more money. So that was Kamarocho. Thanks to Yacht Manoi, the city was still largely untouched by the money game. It was just waiting for me, ripe for the picking. This city is the largest entertainment district in the east. You can't make a dent in it without a truly sizable war chest, and the Yakuza presence don't make it any easier. I had the funds, but I never thought I'd be able to effectively control this city by myself. That's why I put together the five billionaires. I sought those who had capital and experience in the five major industries of the town. Leisure, electronics, pleasure, gambling, and media. I put them in charge. 
By doing so, I figured I will be able to rule over the otherwise confusing mess of businesses within the city. <laughs> Managed to get all the five aboard simply by flashing some cash in front of them, and once their palms were greased, they had no qualms about getting their hands even dirtier. Thanks to them, I was able to take control over Kamarocha with relative ease. That is, until you came along. There are two things I am planned for. First, y'all know I've been despondent and on the verge of leaving this work. Therefore, I never expect him to stick around this long. And secondly, I couldn't foresee someone like you coming in and partying with Yamanoi. Thanks to you, my organization is now shambles. So now I'll throw that aside and start something new. Something new? Hey, you defeat all five billionaires and merge a wide range of properties together in one portfolio. So I take that off your hands. I can take back control of everything with minimal effort. Sure, kill me and take everything? That's your plan, you've already failed. I won't go down to the likes of them. Oh well. You don't die, so I'll have an ace up my sleeve. Either way, all your properties will soon become mine. Well then, I'll get going now. Finance King, wait! It's the end of the line for you, too. Disappear of Kiryu. But, to be frank, I knew there would be a time when I would need to get rid of the U5. You won't be happy as pawns forever. I suppose I should thank kiryu -kun for making it so easy. Did you intend to get rid of us from the start? But of course, thanks for everything. And now, farewell, Media King. Looks like you work for the worst boss in the world. Guess so. And are you... I'll help out, Mr. Kiryu. We'll be totally uncool to die like this after all. <laughs> That's great. Let's crush these bastards. Shall we dance? Let's get this party started. Or at least I don't get to fight alone. I hope you're still as good as uh, the boss fight. Oh, I might get screwed, actually. Oh, crap. I'm in danger. Oh, my God. Um... That actually does work well. Well, that was scary. Thank God I had that slime gun. You good, man? <laughs> Ooh, Dio mio. Is that all of them? Uh. Yeah, thanks for the help. That was nothing. I caused you a lot more trouble than I fixed, Mr. Kiryu. My serious apologies. <laughs> Never thought I'd screw over this easily. I thought I was quicker on my feet than that. Now that I've been cut loose, I'm no longer a member of the five billionaires. To make things up to you, I'll lend you a hand where I can. Thanks, man. That reminds me, the finance king said he had an ace up his sleeve. That's right. I wonder. We have a problem! What's going on? Our office, there's big trouble. Please just come back to the office. Alright, got it. I I need to eat. I need... I need... No. No, Shakedown is behind me. He has less money. That's a bit sad. I need Korean barbecue. Please. Give me that delicious sirloin steak. And then I need to get drugs. Okay, I'm back home. Oh, he's gone. Probably want to take a piss. Where's Yamanoi? He's disappeared. Nani. What? That's not all. All probably contracts and other important documents that Yamanoi's same manager gone too. Someone stole them. No, that's possible. They were kept under lock and key in a safe, so no one other than Yamanoi had access to them. The only thing I think of is that Yamanoi's son took them. Mm. Why do we do that? What? Look for Yamanoi. He's with the Finance King. The Finance King? Yeah, my boy saw him heading to the Finance King's place. It's called the Billionaire's Room. They say he was carrying a bunch of documents. Why would Yaminoi do such a thing? You know, in the Finance King, he's probably bought out Yaminoi with a truckload of money. Seriously? Yep. And you know, the five billionaires have collapsed. The only place left that controls probably the agents across Kamarocho is right here. The Yaminoi Agency. Buy this place out and you got Kamarocho. But how could Yaminoi be bought out? That doesn't sound like him at all. I don't know, but the Finance King's... Financial resources are extraordinary. The amount of money he's offered. Even an honest man can be swayed to the dark side. No. Hey, Liz, we got bad news, Kiryu. What's going on? The 
Finance King's minions are attacking your properties all over town. Nice. What? This is what happens when Finance King comes after you. If a bunch of property deeds are gone, our business are ruined by a bunch of thugs, there's nothing we can do. Game over. What are we going to do? Kiri san. You need to go directly to the Finance King. There's no other way. Please stop your Ominoi san before he hands over the deeds to the Finance King. Oh. Yeah, that's what we've got to do. We'll figure a way to keep his thugs under control for now. We'll hold off any more property damage. You go deal with him. Mm. But we owe you, man. Let's pay you back. Besides, we were his accomplices. It's a good, this is a good chance to make amends for what we did. Finance King should be in the billionaire's room. Uh, Pleasure King has a car waiting for you. It'll be at the Tinakichi Street entrance. Until I get back and leave this office in this town in your guys' hands. Wow. Got it! Shit, it's getting real. The final battle in this fight, in this, sub, in this side quest, is finally here. The Pleasure King's got a car. I better head to the entrance of uh, Tinakichi Street. I see you. There you are, Kiri-chan. I got a car ready for you. Are you ready to sell things once and for all? Yes. Uh, I'm ready to go. Are you sure you want to go solo? I come as an escort, you know? Yeah. No, I'm fine. I need you to help the others protect our properties and the people in them from the Finance King's henchmen. Who knows what else we'll try when Yamanoi and I are gone. For you, I'll do anything. Remember, though, the Finance King's a cool, cruel man. You just watch yourself, honey. I'll give you a nice hot kiss when you come back. <laughs> Thanks. You don't really have to do that, though. No one fucks with Kamarocho on my watch. <sighs> Yo, my son. Kiryu son. So you've come after all, Cosmo Kiryu. Those papers. These are the deeds to all the properties you fought so hard to collect. Without them, all your efforts up until now are meaningless. I, my dear friend Yamino, bring them to me. I merely offered an appropriate sum of money, and he readily agreed. Even the man who bought you into this business with his inspirational words about saving the town as people is now doing my bidding for cold hard cash. It really is all about the money, Kiri-san. There's something you can trust more than money, and nothing's more useful than money. Surely you understand it by now. Yamanoi, yeah, don't hand that over to him. You told me you didn't want Kamurocho ruined by money games. Was that all a lie? Say something, damn it. <laughs> There's nothing you can say or do. I'm busy taking over Kamurocho. Would you mind not me saying more of my time? Boys... Kirikun, the head peasants like you need to have an understanding of the world beaten into them. These men are the best that money can buy. So, what do you think? Any kind of power simply boils down to finances. Prepare be crushed under the weight of overwhelmingly financial power, Kazuma Kiryu. Eh, they're not so... Oh, God. Um... Ow. I got this. It's like they know my strategy. Um, I should heal actually. Is there any more? Ch okay, I'm screwed. Wait, can I use the? Oh, yes. Wow. Not today, bitch. Oh my god. Ow. 
Come on, boys. Ow. Come on. Oh, now you piss me off, buckaroo. 85 million. <sighs> that was fun. You're next. Kiryu-san! Well, well, not too shabby, Kiryu-kun. <sighs> but it's too little too late. All right, I'm going to hand over the rest of your documents. I didn't think I ever wanted to see your face again, but then again, I never thought we'd be able to come to an agreement like this. And now Kamurocho will be mine. I can use the city to make billions upon billions. Trillions, even. <laughs> Life is good, isn't that right, Yaminoi? Are you sure about that? Oh, he has the blicky. <laughs> eh? Cap him. Been waiting for this moment. I wouldn't have been able to get close to you unless I said I hand over the deeds. <laughs> Yaminoi, you're double crossing me. As your former business partner, I can't let you keep doing this. I love this city, so I'll put an end to you myself. There's some things money can't buy, like a human life. I'll prove that to you right now. Wait, let's talk this over. I'll give you as much money as you want, just don't kill me. Like I said, not everything can be bought. Then I'll turn myself in, I'll own to the crimes I committed. There, is that enough for you? You know, I just don't believe you. Let's finish this. No, don't do this. This is the end. Stop! Marine, Marina! Yamnoi-san, I understand how you feel, but if you do this, you'll be no better than the Finance King. Besides, I can't let you throw your, away your life for this. Um, Marina, what's going on? I'm sorry I couldn't tell you until now. I'm actually a detective with the police. Noni? The hell? This story money game that has Kamurocho in this grass. I went undercover Yamnoi-san's place to discover who was behind it all. If I find the mastermind responsible for the money game sooner or later if I work there. The police I learned about the money game from countless victims of strong arm tactics and violence. But open investigation only resulted in, in the mastermind ditching his henchmen and disappearing. That's why I've been working undercover. Well now, that totally makes sense. No wonder you were such an able secretary. We're going to perform a thorough search of this building now. I expect we'll find ample evidence of the finance king's illegal activities. So you have to kill him. We'll make sure he pays for his crimes. The right way. But, you're finished, Finance King. Damn it. So close. Sorry I couldn't tell you, Mr. President. And thank you. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you. <laughs> you're one hell of an actress. You sure had me fooled. I was just like, what the fuck? When I first played this. Now, there's still plenty of work to be done to clean up Kamarocha after these criminals are gone. Let's go back, Yamnoi san and Mr. President. Uh. Right. Let's go, Yamnoi san Yes. Should we really leave the, the fucking... APS there. <sighs> of course. I'm not going down like this. Never! The money I made is mine. Nobody can take it from me. The police, who cares? Screw the rules. I have money. I'll have you and the cops. I'll kill anyone and take everything. I'll still become a trillionaire. <laughs> you. This guy's beyond saving. Both of you, stand back. What the hell's wrong with you? I've got a gun! If you think you could stop me with a toy like that, you've got another thing coming. You'll pay for your crime soon enough. Before that, you need to be taught a lesson. <laughs> Cure you. I really can't stand you, you know that. I'm not letting you stop me. Now die! Final fight. Final king. And he has significantly less health bars, so this is going to be pretty easy. Let me take this rubble. Smash on top of you. You're going to be... Get cocked, man. Oh, so you have some skills. But I have that. You want some more? Ow. Okay. Ow. 
Ow. Okay, rush. Nope. I was having a lot better with this style. So why change? So why change strategies? Ow. Sit down. Get over here. Sit down. There we go. I know you have a sliver, but what's what's a little bit more left? Come on. Come on. Fear an awakening coming right now, lads. Finally. <laughs> Fucking finally. Attempted murder, obstruction of justice, and many other charges backed up by Evelyn sees from the billionaire's room. The finest king is going away for a long time. So it's all over. What's the matter? You don't seem happy. Yeah. No, he and I once worked together at the same ideals after all. If I'd been firm back then and stopped him, we might have avoided all this. We might have even saved him. When I think about that, I can't bear it. Money's a terrifying thing, it has the power to corrupt to change people. True, money does have the power to change people, but I think it all depends on the person who uses it. What? If money has the power to corrupt people, it should also have the, the power to change people for the better. Depending on how money is used, it can improve a city and the lives of the people who live in it. Those who have money need to figure out the best way to do that. It comes with responsibility. You're right. We need to think of how best to use the money we have now, so that the city and its citizens can shine even brighter. Yeah, definitely. Thanks to your help, the finest game is under arrest. As for the other billionaires who work for him, their actions were in large part due to his manipulative orders, so the census should be relatively light. A lot of work remains to return Kamarocha back to what it was before, and we really can't do it without their help. So instead of being arrested, they'll work at our office. They'll be under my supervision throughout their probation. Besides, all of them have shown remorse for what they did. Justice System 101. I see. Thanks for arranging that. Oh, don't mention it. What's important is the future. True that. Once the city is revitalized, someone else might try to emerge and finish what the Finance King started. That's true. People will always be drawn to the power of money. Still, I'm sure Kamarocha will be okay. Why do you say that? Because you're here, President Kiryu. <laughs> you give me too much credit. Besides, who knows where I might end up. I guess so, but I got a feeling no matter what happens, your path will take you back here. <laughs> is that what you deduce, Detective? Yep, it sure is. I have to supervise the billionaires as well as watch over Kamarocha. It'll be alright if I remain at the office. Of course, I look forward to continuing to work with you, Marina-san. I'm so glad. Alright, all right, everyone's waiting for us back at the office. Let's go home. Yeah. This? It's all come up to this, guys. We've unlocked... The Legendary Fine Style Dragon of Dojima. So, as you are aware... Um, I'll talk about this later. Alright, so I'm for open business today, Kirizan. Could you say a few words? Uh, uh right. Not really used to this sort of thing. Now, now, everyone's waiting for you. Oh, hey, kings. Okay, we got Kamarocho back from the Finance King, but what's more important is where we go from here. We got to restore Kamarocho, pair, repair the damage done to it, make it even better for everyone who lives here. Just like Yamanoi san I love this city. I want to help make it a better place. Fortunately for us, we have the real estate and the financial resources to make that happen. I'll need your help to do it. Let's do this together. Heh, <laughs> let's get to work. Okay. <coughs> we have a client coming in to see, see us now. So I'll show them in. It's an important client, so please look your best. Uh. Got it. My name is Kiryu. How can we help you today? We built this city. <laughs> 
And there we have it. The royal... The royal estate has now been finished. <sighs> Basically now this is just... Money. That we just used to like, now get Kiryu fucking overpowered as hell. Okay, we still got billions of properties left to fuck around with, so... That is an issue. Pretty solid with all of them. With kind of all of them though, the Media King. Mostly for uh, shopping, but we got Miracle for it. there and there we go we may have a hundred percent but we still got a lot to go with this and with that being said <laughs> we have Kiryu's dragon style of Balsalk that created a legend vanished foes of the immense force born of a dragon so this is different um we're not going to unlock um, any, like, heat actions or anything throughout this. This basically just increases health, um, heat, and attack. And, e yeah. Um, basically, you see the level down there. Um, we can't really unlock this unless we have the skill um, Limit Breaker. I'm not going to put any money into this because you can get immensely overpowered throughout through this. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, really, is just gain some health. Uh, not really yet. Um, but basically, um, we've now unlocked a lot more heat actions. So, sumo slapping, escape, overhead throwing, bow coiling. The uh, Essence of 88. Um, yeah, we just unlocked a lot of heat actions, really. Um, style features? Okay. Um, uh, all uh, certain abilities for other styles can now apply to the Dragon of Dojima style. AKA, I'm just going to call it Dragon style, because why not? Um, cause the heat, heat gauge to, to drop. Don't really know why I want to do it. Finishing hold, um, a regular attack four times, then Y, B, twist counter, RB, R, uh, stance, then B when, uh, enemy acts. This is really good for shakedown. Apparently, I have yet to master the shit. Knockback counter, iron fist counter. Before we actually end the episode, and this fucking immense power of bullcrap, I want to go ahead and demonstrate the, uh, Dragon of Dojima style. Or, um, the, the dragon style. So let's go find some people to beat up real quick. The fuck is everyone? Does no one want to fight me? Ah, oh, perfect. There's a bastard down here. Oi. What the fuck? That was not what I was expecting. Ah, oh, so good to actually actually use this style again.
Come on. I wonder if I could do... I wonder if I could do the, uh... I don't think I can, actually. I was thinking maybe I could, like... There we go. We don't get a bonus for being the dragon style. I was seeing if I could do the, uh, that one counter from before, but, um... Regardless, that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. Jesus fucking Christ. How long am I recording for? I'm gonna go my thing real quick. I don't even know if I completed everything with the business. Um, I need one more manager, two security, and another advisor, and that's basically it for the business. I don't know where I can get it to. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and figure out how long this episode's been going for, because I think I've been recording since, like, what? 9.30 a.m.? And what? And it's like 2.15 p.m. right now. This might have been the longest recording video... Like, that's how much I've been recording for, just to finish this up. I'm gonna take a- I'm gonna take a long-deserving nap, and off-camera I'm gonna try to get, a uh, go with the style. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.